Hey, how's it going out there, everyone? So we're back. We're gonna do another one today. This one's gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be an install, but it's gonna be more of a, what have I done so far? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with uh, the easier of the two. So what I've got here is a 2018 Fat Boy Special in gauntlet gray. I know it's hard to tell because, you know, garage crappy lighting, but uh, I bought it last year, had it for almost a year now, and I haven't done much, but the previous owner had done a few things. So if you haven't noticed, we got the quick detach windshield they put on there. We got the mustache style crash bar, and yes, I call it a crash bar. Uh, somebody went ahead and uh, put on the heel toe shifter, which I know that's another big debate. Personally, I love it. Uh, I came from just a toe shifter on my my last cruiser, which was a 2014 Victory Judge. Wasn't sure how I feel about the heel shifter, but uh, it grew on me, and I, I really like it. So it's going to stay. Moving on, uh, I did put on the little swing arm bag there. That is the one from Harley, because it's just the one I liked the most and how it looked probably overpaid for it but uh, continuing to swing around previous owner did do the sissy bar with beer rack i do have the rear seat it's just hanging up on the wall because if you didn't notice i did remove the rear passenger pegs this is just my solo bar, uh, around town bar hopper so around back here i do have the LED headlights. They're nothing special. I'll click those on in a sec. Or sorry, tail lights. Uh, those are just Amazon specials. So definitely nothing to write home about. I do plan on swapping those out. Uh, likely to a Custom Dynamics when I have the money. we have got a little bit of extra light over here. Swinging around to the other side. We've also got the uh, LED front blinkers again, Amazon specials, nothing fancy. They were cheap, so they will get replaced. Along the side here, you'll notice, that's uh, if I can get around to it here, we have the Vance and Hines Eliminator 300 slip ons. Those also were already on the bike when I bought it. Uh, the only thing I've done is I pulled the end cap and and removed the packing material. But aside from that, oh, and I did do the flush mount gas caps because that just, it looks better. So my personal opinion, I think it looks better. So let's go ahead and turn off the light here. We'll click it on so you guys can see these cheap Amazon blinkers that I put in there. So as you can see, I mean, they do the job. I don't know if you can tell, but they're halos. They just have a white ring on it like any other halo does. They flash orange. So, nothing fancy. They were cheap. I want to say that was a Christmas present, but it was on my wish list in the Amazon. I want to say those were uh, 20, 25 bucks for all four fronts and rears. Same thing. It's, it's a halo, single color. Then I did run smoke lenses front and rear on this, and I did go ahead and turn the license plate because it just looks better. I haven't found, uh, I was originally I was gonna mount it under here, but I think I'm actually grooving on how it looks here. Instead, Custom Dynamics has a little light bar set up that goes under here that's a run brake turn that I think I'm gonna go with. I don't know if I'm gonna buy those at Sturgis this year or, or not, but that's kinda to be determined. Uh, but as far as the Fat Boy goes, that, that's about all that's been done on it. Uh, I still run in the stock tires, stock wheels, which compared to the new ones, the new, the since what, 21? 21, 22, 23, I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong, it could've been just been 22 and 23. They went to the cutout style on the wheels. Personally, not a big fan, but to each their own. Of the two, I prefer the solid dish, but overall, 
I'm not a dished wheel fan. I would prefer some mags, but wheels are expensive. So whether or not that ever happens, yeah, we'll see. Now, moving on to my baby. It's my 2019 Streetlight Standard, vivid black. Like I said, it's a black street glide. Now, uh, that kind of tells you a lot. But as I've said in, in previous videos, black and chrome, it's classic. It doesn't get old, and there's a reason it's been hanging out as long as it did. So, we'll start in the front here, work our way around. So, I'll do my best to you know, keep some lighting on it. But, starting out front here, we also went with some, some Amazon lights on a recommendation of a buddy of mine. So the headlight and the auxiliary lights, you notice I do have the auxiliary lights on. I did buy Harleys because they did come with a plug and play switch, which I was all about because I didn't, I didn't, then I didn't have to wire anything in. These are a SunPi brand. They are very affordable and they do a good job. That being said, if I had to do it again, probably go with a different light especially if i don't ha didn't have the auxiliaries because that's that headlight does leave a fair amount of light streaking out on the ground but the auxiliaries do tend to fill that in for me pretty well so again lights that will eventually get swapped out for custom dynamics when i have the money the blinkers again same uh amazon special that's what's on the fat boy because again it's what i could afford after i bought the bike moving on down Sorry about the bike, it is filthy. I just, I didn't get a chance to wash it before she got packed away. Those are Amazon special, I think TCMT hard lowers. Uh, they look a lot like the Harley OEM ones uh, for a fraction of the price. You do get what you pay for. The Harley ones are nicer, as I'm sure the Advan Black ones are nicer. Hogworks, whoever else makes the hard lowers, I'm sure they're nicer, but these were a hundred bucks ish so and they came painted and because it's vivid black it's easy to match coming down again amazon special uh axle nut covers probably 20 bucks 25 bucks again another christmas present that uh, or birthday a present in general from the family so just trying to support my habits i guess coming up to the top of the fairing we did just do an install here we've got the Harley brand fairing windshield trim, which I'm really digging on. It kind of makes it look a little bit more finished, a little more complete. I wish they kind of released that from the manufacturer stock, but I get it. You know, everybody's got a different taste. Next up, we've got the six and a half inch Clockworks flare windshield. I did go from the stock to an, another Amazon special. These bikes are expensive, guys, so... I'm not made of money. I don't got a lot of money, so I cheap out where I think I need to until I learn my lesson and I buy the quality one. And this six and a half inch, I'm 5'9 with a 28 inch inseam. You know, I got little minion legs. That windshield has been freaking amazing for keeping the wind up and over my dome. So I got no complaints. Love that windshield. Coming around to the side, I do have the Harley brand heavy breather that is probably about time to have the filter rinsed and recharged up around top here locking or however it is you want to say that name grips they're the kinetics and super comfy uh, one of the first things i did when i got this bike was get those harley grips off of there so we did i did a video just recently about that new advan black tank dash and I think it looks gorgeous. Wish I had done that sooner. Now uh, we've got another Amazon special contrast cut ignition switch cover. But to be honest, if I had to do it again, I'd probably go without it. And so it's just, it stuck for a while and now it's starting to come loose. And I mean, the quality of the, the aluminum is good, but the 3M double-sided tape could be better. So, and then you can see over here, the little switch there that you get with the Harley brand auxiliary lights. So, uh, I did do a fair amount of engine dress up here. All of this is from Kuriakin. This part here, back here, the uh, uh, 
starter cover, the transmission top cover, or sorry, that's a yeah, starter cover, a transmission cover. You know, just I know chrome don't get you home, but it does. It I think just dresses up the bike. So did swap out the four the pegs for floorboards for the wife. Again, another Amazon special. For those of you who don't know and are looking to do this, Harley and their infinite wisdom, with these bolts here that attach the pegs, they use a white Loctite, which according to the text out there at Lone Wolf, uh, my local dealer, that is an aviation grade Loctite. Why the hell they went that route rather than just using red, I don't know, but I guess better safe than sorry. Either way, I stripped it and I had to take it out to the dealer because I don't have the skills or tools to fix that on my own. So I just went ahead and bit the bullet. Went ahead and swapped out the red reflectors, which brings my next point, I did forget. I did strip off the front fork reflectors because, you know, that's what you do. So moving around back, do have the sissy bar that I put on there. That's Harley's, that's Harley's uh, beer rack. Now uh, Harley's four point mount, because again, I just bought the bike and I thought everything needed to be Harley until I started pricing it all and just quickly decided not everything needs to be Harley. So I'll click these lights on too when, I, when we get to it, but we've got, again, the cheap Amazon tail lights, but it'll be easier to tell once I turn them on. We've got these lights and the bag lights, so the facial lights and the bag lights, which are custom dynamics and they are amazing. Uh, really increase my visibility or the visibility of me from behind. So now I don't have to worry about getting rear ended. We have the cheap little 50 cal bullet antenna because let's be honest, I don't listen to the radio. So I don't care what kind of reception I get because I get squat for reception with that. But I don't care. It's better than that whip antenna. Down bottom here, I know, and I did another video on this recently. I, uh, we have the tab performance four and a half inch bam sticks with zombie baffles. They are, they sound so amazing. Way better than what my Reinhardt's did. And I, and I love my Reinhardt, so... You know, not dogging on the Reinhardt fans out there, you know, but these are, these are better. They, they're better in my opinion. Let's put it that way. They sound different. The Reinhardts were deeper and throatier. Yeah. Uh, and these ones are definitely a higher pitch, higher tone and raspier, which I didn't realize is what I was looking for until I heard them. So let's see here. Moving around. Uh, another... Uh, my horn cover got swapped out for another Amazon special. Uh, let's see here. We've also got this surround here, the primary top cover, primary cover. That's also Kuriakin. We got the little jugs cover, whatever the actual term for that is. Now, all those chrome bits, those are uh, Kuriakin. I don't think that I would go with any more of their parts, to be honest, but they're doing the job for now. Uh, mine came with the heel shifters one of the last years I think it was the last year that Harley offered that standard and then they yanked it off there starting a 20 I'm still thankful that I have it let's see here and one other thing that I have which is going to require getting my remote is I'm that guy and I don't care what anybody thinks but I'm that guy. So we'll go over here. We're gonna turn off the light so it can show up better. But come back over here, so. Nope, that's not gonna work. There we go. So get me back into some light here. Yeah, I'm that guy. I have, I got the chassis lights. They change colors, they pulse, they breathe, they beat with the music. And you know what? They're fun. My only regret, actually isn't even a regret. It's because of the amazing, wonderful state that I live in. It says that they're illegal to have on while the bike's in motion. 
I don't understand the reasoning behind it because in my mind, anything that makes it more visible means more safer. But they didn't ask me, so we move on. But anyway, I think that's about all, everything. I definitely dumped a lot more money into the Street Glide than I want to admit between you know, the name brand stuff, the Harley stuff, and the Amazon stuff. I don't want to look at that number, but I'm, I'm sure it would hurt my feelings. So anyway, that's all I've got for today. You guys take care. We'll catch y'all next time. All right, I almost forgot because I have no script. Forgot to uh, show off these uh, rear lights. We'll go ahead and turn the bike on. All right, we'll start with the, the front lights real quick. So I do, unless I'm riding around at night, I generally keep my auxiliary lights off, but we'll go ahead and click those on. So, definitely throws out a lot more light with those auxiliary lights, although admittedly, I don't like how they look, but I love how they function. Just like these hard lowers. Can't stand how they look, but in the cold weather, they are nice. Which, that being said, those uh, lowers only go on when it drops to under 50 degrees. As soon as uh, it's up and over 50, they get stripped off real quick. It takes me maybe 10 minutes to put them on or take them off. So I'm fine with doing that. And then around back here, there we go. So we've got, like I said, the custom dynamics, bag lights, and facial lights. Haven't done anything with the third light down below. That's still stock Harley. But we'll go ahead and uh, click the blinker on. Actually, you know what? We'll just go hazards. Make it even easier on ourselves. There we go. So everything's flashing. We've got the sequentials on the side there. Uh, sequential in red. They do offer them in a sequential amber. They have them in... Let's get all that turned off. The... Uh, smoked lens they have them and a red lens you can get them sequential non-sequential uh, so there's they have a lot of combinations on their website uh, so but they're, they're great they're bright they've got an amazing warranty so I as soon as I can afford it I'm gonna be swapping out all my lights on both bikes with custom dynamics so anyway now that's all I got for you we'll catch y'all later